Power Grid is a two-hour game for two to six players in which you represent a power company supplying electricity to a network of cities. Manage your power plants better than your opponents to light up the most cities and win. Learn to manipulate the supply and demand of resources and bid on the best power plants in this economic strategy game. Power plants are central to Power Grid. Use these to power your cities and earn money. During the auction phase, random power plants are available for purchase from the common market. At the end of the game, the player with the most powered cities wins, which means you must manage your plants well. The power plant's number is its lowest acceptable bid at auction. The type of resource in the bottom left shows what you need in order to power your plant, and the number of those resources shows you how many of that type you need. To use a power plant, you must expend exactly this number of resources. Resources are always stored on plants, and you can store up to twice the required amount of resources on any one power plant. Resources can be moved to different plants at any time, provided the resources match the plants. The number of the house symbol indicates how many cities this power plant can supply with electricity on a single turn. Even if you are storing double a plant's resources, you can only run it once per turn. Any electricity produced beyond what's needed to power your cities is wasted. There are two special types of power plants. Hybrid power plants can store and burn either coal or oil as resources. Plant 21, for example, burns two hybrid resources. You can burn either two oil, two coal, or one oil and one coal. You can store a total of four resources on this plant in any combination of oil and coal. Ecological and fusion power plants require no resources and can power the number of cities for free each round. During the game, a player can have a maximum of three power plants at a time. When you want to buy another plant but already have three, discard one of your other plants your resources on that plant are lost, unless you have space for them in another plant. One round in Power Grid is made up of the following five phases. Determine player order, auction power plants, buy resources, build, and bureaucracy. Place the houses of the players on the scoring track from the player with the most cities to the least cities. If there's a tie, the player with the power plant with the highest number is first. In the very first round of the game, determine this randomly. During the auction power plants phase, each player has the opportunity to purchase one power plant at auction. At the beginning of the game, plants 3 to 6 are placed in the upper row and 7 to 10 in the lower row to make up the power plant market. When players add new power plants to the market, players rearrange all power plants in the market in ascending order. The top row of 4 plants is the actual market that players can buy from, and the bottom row of 4 plants is the future market. The first player starts by choosing to either start a bid on a power plant or pass. If you pass on starting a bid, you give up the chance to purchase any plants for this round. If you choose to start a bid, pick one power plant from the actual market and bid the number on the card or higher. In clockwise order, players can make higher bids or pass. If a player passes, they cannot bid on this plant again. Players keep bidding until one player remains, who then pays their bid to the bank and takes the power plant. Draw a new card to replace it, rearranging the market accordingly. Once a player has purchased a plant, they cannot bid on another plant this round or start bids on a plant. If the winning bid was not by the player who started the bid, the starting player may again choose to bid or pass. Once this player has either passed or won a bid, the next player in order who has not won a bid may start a bid or pass. If an entire round goes by where no plant is sold, remove the lowest numbered power plant from the game and replenish the market. Players must buy a power plant in the first round of the game, and so are not allowed to pass when starting a bid. After the very first auction of the game, rearrange the player order according to the values of the purchased plants from highest to lowest. During the buy resources phase, players buy resources for their plant in reverse player order, starting with the last player. You can only buy resources for a plant you own. A plant cannot produce electricity unless it has enough resources to be fully powered. Players purchase resources from the resource market. The printed number in the resource spaces is how much each resource in that space costs. Pay the amount owed to the bank. During the build phase, players add cities to their networks on the map in reverse player order, starting with the last player. The game is won by the players with the most powered cities at the end of the game, meaning you must strategically balance cities with the amount of power you can produce. At the start of the game, players have no cities, and thus no network. 
Each player starts their network by choosing an unoccupied city in the playing area chosen at the beginning of the game. We'll get to that in a minute. Placing a house on the number 10. Pay 10 electros to the bank. When you build another city, find the cheapest set of connections to one of your existing cities and pay that total, along with the cost of the new city. You can do this even if an opponent has a city along that connection. You can connect any number of new cities in a round, as long as you can pay the costs. A player cannot build multiple houses in the same city. You do not need to purchase a city and start your network in the first round of the game. It may benefit you to see where the other players are building first, or you might want to stay at the end of the player order. Whenever you add a new city to your network, immediately move your position on the scoring track. If you now have more cities than the number on a power plant in the market, remove that plant from the game and replenish the market. During the bureaucracy phase, players earn cash, resupply the resource market, and remove a power plant from the market. Starting with the first player, every player indicates which power plants they want to power up. You earn cash based on the number of cities that you power as shown in the payment table. Even if you don't power any cities on your turn, you still get 10 electro. Remove the required resources from the power plants that successfully produced electricity this round and place the used resources in the supply next to the board. A player might not supply electricity to all their cities. This could be by choice or because they were unable to. Regardless, make sure to only take money for powered cities. If a surplus of electricity is produced, it is wasted. Resupply the resource market from the supply of resources by consulting this grid. Start placing the resources on the most expensive empty space. It is possible for there to not be enough resources to restock the market. Place the highest number power plant from the future market face down under the draw stack and draw a new one to replace it. Phase 5 and the whole round are now complete. A new round starts with Phase 1. There are three steps to a full game of Power Grid, which have slightly different rules. The game starts in Step 1, where every city can only have one house. The resource table shows how to resupply for this step. Step 2 is triggered when any player has built their 7th city, at the end of the build phase. At the start of Step 2, remove the lowest numbered power plant in the market from the game and replenish the market. Two players can now buy houses in a single city, with a second house costing 15 electro. Check the table for change to resupply rules for Step 2. When the Step 3 card is drawn from the power plant deck, see which phase you are in and follow the corresponding instructions in the rulebook. In Step 3, the power plant market contains only 6 plants, all of which are available to purchase as the actual market. Three players can now buy houses in a single city, with a third house costing 20 electro. From now on, in the bureaucracy phase, remove the smallest numbered power plant from the game and replenish the plant market. It is possible that the draw stack and even the market become empty before the game ends. When at least one player has 17 cities in their network at the end of the build phase, the game ends. The player who is powering the most cities in their network at the end of the game wins. Any money you have left over can no longer be spent, but in the event of a tie, the player with the most money wins. If there is still a tie, the player with most cities in total wins. There are several exceptions to the rules stated thus far according to the number of players in the game. They are listed in the rulebook. To start a game of Power Grid, decide which side of the board you'll play on, America or Germany. Players decide on which areas to play in according to the number of players. These areas must be adjacent. All players can play in all chosen areas. Each player takes an overview card, their wooden houses, and 50 electro. Place one of your houses on the scoring track and one house on the player order track. Randomly determine initial player order. Place resources in the market at the bottom of the board. Form the actual and future power plant markets with plants 3 to 10. Remove the step 3 card and power plant 13 from the card deck. Shuffle the remaining power plant cards and place them face down as a supply stack near the board. Place the Step 3 card face down under the stack, and Power Plant 13 face down on top of the stack. So that's how to play Power Grid. If you're curious about what economic principles you can learn from Power Grid, check out our other video, Weird Games Explained.